I think that the world has become more open-minded because God's vision really is for gay people, like for a gay man to marry a woman and have a baby and actually genuinely be in love with her. And it's totally possible. If you're open-minded enough to be gay, you're open-minded enough to be straight if it's your highest plan for you. It's so interesting though, because we're in such a liberal society today that the new norm will be in the future. I can see the future. Makes sense. We're gonna be open-minded because there's gonna be like people that are like, I used to be gay. And you have to be okay with that. Not, not everybody is okay with being gay today, gay people. I was. I was totally fine with it until I found out you go to hell. And I'm like, well, God, there has to be a solution. And he's like, yeah, they have a soulmate, one, one woman. All the men out there have one female soulmate. Maybe she's a lesbian today, maybe she's not. And the one who's not, she will have to look at society as a whole and just accept, like, be open-minded. Like, okay, my, my husband, the Lord has planned for me, has had sex with other men like me, but it'll work out. It'll work out. I bet Fran Drencher's husband, you know, it's her soulmate, but I feel like if I was Fran Drencher, I would pray to God, please find him another woman to be his soulmate so she could have, you know, a fresh start with somebody else who decided to stray from God, but he was probably Jewish. So it's a lot easier to stray from God when you don't have Jesus. And Jesus really, um, he's justice for everybody. It's kind of hard to conceptualize a man like bleeding to death at a cross because it doesn't happen today. It doesn't happen today, but it did happen. And I, it took my, it took me my whole life, but really 10 years. 10 years to really understand Jesus dying at the cross, like how it was real and not a rumor. It was real. And because of my analytical mind, the way that it works, thanks to my grandfather, Jack DeForest, and my dream big mind is thanks to my Papi Alex, I just finally understand the truth that it really is God and there's nothing more unbelievably absolute and big than that. And it's something that you do want to share with other people. And I watch how the other people do it, the missionaries with the Bible, and I say, that makes me want to run away from God even more. So how would I do it? I would be relatable, but I will try and stop saying the F word so much because I want children to eventually be able to watch this and if I'm saying the F word so much, no, it's not for kids. It's not for kids. Cause I don't want kids saying that. So it's only adults only. So I say it in a world where kids don't have access to a phone or tablet to see me and they have parental discretion. Amen.